Hey there, Jen Dyes here for Status Coup with another update about Ghislaine Maxwell, who was allegedly Jeffrey Epstein's right-hand woman, um, allegedly in the, the trafficking and sexual abuse of minors, of young girls. So this update actually has to do with something that happened in 2019 and really hasn't been noticed or reported before recently. So where I saw this is in the US Sun. So, you know, this isn't the New York Times, but I've read through this and I've, I've done some background research and I do think it's credible. So the story goes, Ghislaine Maxwell's last public appearance before her arrest was to support charity for human trafficking victims. So think about this, just even just based on the headline, how gross that is. Here is a woman where there are testimonies and some evidence that she was involved herself in trafficking. And supposedly she was present at a human trafficking um, of, you know, organization, the Helen Bomber Foundation. So we'll get more into what that foundation is and why she was present at an event or at a series of events that were going toward helping to fund this Helen Bamber Foundation. Brazen Ghislaine Maxwell's last public appearance before her arrest was to support a charity for human trafficking victims, the Sun can reveal. The British socialite who denies procuring girls for pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's child sex trafficking ring was pictured at London's Cash and Rocket rally in June 2019. And uh, there's a, obviously a picture of Ghislaine Maxwell. Here is Maxwell at the London's Cash and Rocket rally in June 2019. And lawyers for Epstein's victims question whether Maxwell's appearance was a cruel PR stunt. So if you are someone who's been accused of human trafficking and of sexually abusing minors, what are you going to do? Obviously, you would never be in that situation because you're not a disgusting and vile um, excuse for a human being like Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. But I also don't think it's advisable to go to a, um, a charity event or to support a charity publicly as one of your only appearances in a, quite some time. Again, this was 2019, you know, that's a, that is for victims of, of trafficking. On a PR level, I think the, the public has already decided that Ghislaine Maxwell is guilty. Obviously, she hasn't had a trial yet or anything like that, but the public seems to have pretty much made up its mind. Turning her, if this was a PR stunt to support this charity, turning that PR stunt into a really bad move that doesn't look good at all because of what she's accused of. Let's read further. One of the three charities the event supported was the Helen Bomber Foundation, which helps survivors of extreme human cruelty, including sexual exploitation. So let's look at this Helen Bomber Foundation. Founded in 2005 by Helen Bomber OBE, the Helen Bomber Foundation is a pioneering human rights charity supporting refugees and asylum seekers who are the survivors of extreme human cruelty. The people we work with have been subjected to atrocities, including state-sponsored torture, human trafficking, religious and political persecution, forced labor, sexual exploitation, gender-based and honor-based violence. We are dedicated to ensuring that the people we support are free and healthy, both physically and mentally, are safe, are protected from re-victimization, detention and poverty, and have the ability and agency to integrate in and contribute to the communities around them. So that's obviously a really, really good mission. I don't want it to make it sound like, you know, having support for this Helen Bomber Foundation is a good thing from every, or is a bad thing, excuse me. From everything I've seen, supporting this foundation is a great thing. They do great things for people who've been trafficked or sexually exploited, among other things. 
so, you know, kudos to the Helen Bomber Foundation. But if it is indeed true, and it looks like it is, that Ghislaine Maxwell was trying to support this charity and potentially using it as a PR move, that is stomach turning in light of the accusations against her, against Jeffrey Epstein. Lawyers for Epstein's victims last night questioned whether the appearance was a cruel PR stunt by Maxwell to put investigators off her scent. Gloria Allred said, it is highly likely that in June 2019, Ms. Maxwell would have known law enforcement was investigating Jeffrey Epstein on allegations he sex trafficked underage girls. Since she had previously worked for Mr. Epstein, was intimate with him, and lived with him, she may also have realized that she could be a person of interest or a target of their investigation. I have to wonder if she chose to participate in this rally as a calculated PR tactic, which would portray her as a socialite who was sympathetic to and supportive of victims of sex trafficking. So, this is another element that is important. At this time, at the time she would have attended this rally, she would have known what kind of trouble Jeffrey Epstein was in. She would have known that due to her associations, she was also in trouble, especially if the allegations against her are true. So I think that the PR move theory is, is pretty, a pretty sound one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Rather than as a woman who would conspire to recruit underage girls to be sex trafficked to Jeffrey Epstein, as she sits in her jail cell, she must now realize that many victims of Jeffrey Epstein will consider her participation in the rally to have been a cruel PR stunt and the height of hypocrisy. Although she was portraying herself as rallying for victims, Ms. Maxwell should not expect that victims will rally for her. And this is her on the third day of that rally. It's a fuzzy picture. Um, here's yet another point. So Prince Andrew, as you've probably heard by now, is allegedly implicated in this disgusting abuse, sexual abuse of minors. It's very suspicious. You know, he, he is retired since these accusations have come out. He's largely kept out of the public eye. Yet, he did meet with Ghislaine Maxwell, reportedly only one of five people he met in that time period while she was in England. So, let's take a look at that. She even used the event to drop in at Buckingham Palace and meet close pal Prince Andrew. The rally for a group of the world's most successful women partnered her with Annette Mason, the wife of Pink Floyd drummer Nick Mason, in a four-day drive to Monaco. So again, they talk about the Helen Bomber Foundation. Epstein was arrested in July 2019, just one month after the rally, in suspicion of running a sex trafficking operation before killing himself in prison. He is suspected of trafficking dozens of girls to his mansions in America and his private Caribbean retreat in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Maxwell went into hiding following Epstein's arrest, shuttling from safe house to safe house in the U.S. with a team of British security guards. The FBI finally took the heiress into custody, which, which you know, now know. She now faces 35 years in prison, charged with child grooming and perjury. Ghislaine Maxwell denies all allegations of sexual misconduct made against her, and the Helen Bomber Foundation did not respond to a request for comment. So there are additional pictures of Ghislaine Maxwell. All in all, what I take away from this, obviously this was an event in 2019, it's not like she was doing this right before she was arrested, but I don't think that matters. I don't really think the timeline matters, except when you take into account that Jeffrey Epstein was arrested a month later. I think that is an important timeline because she would have likely heard rumblings. She would have known that things were heating up, that their years of getting away with what they allegedly have done were over. 
So could it be a PR move? Maybe. I think so. In any case, it's disgusting and horrifying if indeed the allegations against her are true. So I will keep an eye out on any uh, Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell news. And of course, I'll be doing update videos, but I'm also researching some things in the background because I have a lot of questions and things I'm going to investigate and dig into. There needs to be justice for the victims of Jeffrey Epstein, the alleged victims of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. So until next time, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you could sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statusquo.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we could grow the revolution with you.